After a week of underwhelming red carpet appearances, there was an overwhelming sense of relief about Monday's premiere, a testament to the king of rock and roll, Mr. Elvis Aaron Presley. Much like the main himself, the first official screening of Priscilla defied recent Venice Film Festival convention by attracting an improved guest list. With Bella Thorne, Sofia Coppola, and Priscilla Presley among the early arrivals at the Floating City's historic lighter, the film has landed a SAG AFTRA interim agreement according to Deadline, as it was filmed in Canada, allowing its stars Kaylee Spini and Jacob Elordi, who play Elvis and Priscilla respectively, to attend the festival. Their appearance followed a week of comparative inactivity at the annual event, widely vetoed by many of the Hollywood elite as they stand in solidarity with ongoing SAG AFTRA strikes. Leading the way, Bella, 25, ensured she caught the eye in a sweeping ivory gown with an off-the-shoulder detail as she greeted onlookers outside the venue. Midnight Blue Heels gave the look an extra splash of color, while a gold choker and an accompanying assortment of costume jewelry rounded things off. Meanwhile, Priscilla, 78 making her first red carpet appearance since the death of daughter Lisa Marie in January, caught the eye in a black satin cohort with distinctive sheer sleeves. She rounded off the look with conventional black heels, while an understated black handbag appeared to be her only notable accessory. Joining the pair, Sophia, 52, who directed the new film, looked appropriately glamorous in a black silk evening gown with sheer shoulder panels. The daughter of Academy Award-winning filmmaker Frances Ford Coppola ensured her dress stood out by opting for limited accessories ahead of Monday's screening. But all eyes were on American actress Kaylee, who plays the title role in the much-anticipated biopic. The 25-year-old dazzled in a white gown that boasted a plunging neckline and beaded pearl embellishment. Meanwhile, Jacob, who plays the king of rock and roll, rocked a double-breasted suit and stylish facial hair. Earlier that day, the real-life Priscilla insisted that she never had sex with her late ex-husband Elvis Presley when she was 14 as she attended the photo call and press conference for the new film. The highly anticipated biopic tells the story of a teenage Priscilla and her romance with the late king of rock and roll Elvis Presley, played here by Jacob. It is directed by Sofia Coppola, based on Priscilla's 1985 memoir Elvis and Me, and will premiere on Monday evening on the Lido. Speaking from the audience at the press conference panel for the film, Priscilla held back tears as she opened up about her late husband and gushed about the movie. According to The Hollywood Reporter, she admitted, it's very difficult to watch a film about you and about your life and about your love. But Sofia did an amazing job. She did her homework, and I really put everything out for her that I could.